When Katie was born, she was a preemie, three pounds, 12 ounces. Katie was about seven weeks premature. You want to hold your child, you want to hear them cry. I couldn't do either one. I don't remember even seeing her. The neonatologist says, we've got a problem. We found out that Katie had necrotizing intracolitis. It begins as it eats the intestines, it starts darkening your colon. So things directly went downhill and, and uh, became very scary for us. We went to change the diaper and a full of blood. Ralph and I knew immediately what that was. And the nurse said, come back and be prepared to stay. It was awful. I met Tom Polly at a triathlon race in Shelbyville, Kentucky. Dr. Polly and I probably ran 12 to 15 races together. And during that time, we became really, really good friends. He cared about every child. I told Susan, I said, I've got to call Tom and ask him his advice and what we should do. And when I called him about Katie, he said, I'll be right there. And then he came and sat down with Susan and I and said, you know, this is very serious disease. This, this is gonna be a long haul. She's gonna be here a while. Necro means dying. This can be fatal and oftentimes is. She was in the hospital for 52 days. Every day we would see an x-ray and they would show us how much this disease was taking over Katie's intestines. Every day, Tom Polly was there with us. Tom was our first fellow. I knew him since he was a fourth year medical student. People who work here, it's their passion. They're so dedicated and they care for this child like their own. He made some tweaks. We need to try something new, so let's do this. But still day after day, it's just grimness after grimness. And her colon continued getting worse and worse. After 35 days, Tom came to us running down the hall with an x-ray. And he said, look, she's starting to heal. And we all jumped for joy. You just can't describe the joy and the happiness that you feel as a parent that maybe your child is going to be okay. We started pushing the envelopes in terms of how small is too small. In the past year, we have taken care of babies who are as little as 350 grams. They are 85% chance of survival. That is amazing. Katie is definitely a miracle baby, and you would never know today that she went through anything, and we are extremely blessed. She's an attorney, and she's married to Raul Joseph, uh, who works here at the Children's Hospital, who's becoming a neonatologist. <laughs> Can't imagine our family without her, and that's in large part due to Tom Polly. His heart was committed and dedicated to providing the very best care for Kentucky children. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of lives that are here today that walk the earth because of Tom Polly. Tom was a special man. I told him, I'm gonna find some way to give back to the Children's Hospital in your memory to save other children's lives. I've been on the Children's Hospital board now for 25 years. We will continue to fight for our children and continue to build the best children's hospital in the country.